Reverse high five! Hey guys and girls, I'm Hannibal, and welcome back to another video where we're gonna talk about sex. Yes, I have decided to make it into a little bit of a series where I bring up different topics, talk about different things, look at different people's point of views and perspective on sex and anything that revolves around sex in general. Now I think the last video did quite well, which is good. Which is good because that means people are interested to know about sex. And one of the things I want to go back to on that video was that I did say do not worry about your penis or your boob size. I just wanted to reiterate the fact that you don't need to worry how big your cock is or how big your boobs are. You need to learn to love yourself for who you are, for what you've got, and that you are just amazing. You, out there, yes, you, you're amazing. Just know that you're amazing and don't worry about the silly little things. Literally, the little things. Don't worry about them, just get rid of them. Gone. Now, one of the first questions that I asked again on Twitter uh, was, are you bothered about having sex with the light on? Now, the reason why I asked this is going on for another body confidence kind of perspective, because I thought there would be girls or guys out there that don't want to have sex with the light on, because then they're going to be showing off their bodies, and people are going to be looking at their either little bits of fat rolls, or the hair on their chest, or maybe some spots, or scars, or anything that they may have on their body that they dislike. Now, obviously, with the light off, that's not so bad, because it's just down to feely, feely, touchy, squeezy. But with the light on, your peepers are going to be seeing everything. Your peepers are going to be peopling. However, the response, although it was only 11 votes that came through, 100% of those 11 people couldn't care less if the light was on or off. Now, I've been with a couple of girls that didn't like doing it with the light on, and there were a couple also that had to have music on at the background. That changed over time as you got to know the person and got to relax with them and get it got better and better. But at the first few times or the first few weeks or months, however long it was, I wasn't keeping track, they wanted to keep the light off, which is absolutely fine. I understand. I get that. But be confident in your body. And I'm glad that 100% of those 11 people are confident in their body enough to not care about having sex with the light on. This is one of the things that I want to get across in this video is to not care about a lot of things. It's just enjoy sex for what it is. Enjoy your body for what it is. And just, just have fun. Just have fun. Even if that means doing certain things that make you scared or excited or you're worried about. Just, just talk to someone about it. Just experiment. Just have fun and do whatever you want as long as it's not hurting anybody and it's safe. So the next question that I asked, this one got a few more responses, but the question is, guys and girls, what would you consider as a decent amount of time to have sex? Not including foreplay, just the actual act of intercourse. Now, I gave four options here, and again, going down to this, I asked both guys and girls, because obviously we're going to have completely different perspectives on how long we think, and girls think, sex should last. And again, I didn't want to include foreplay because obviously foreplay you can spend hours on if you want to. You can you can fiddle around to your heart's content for as long as you possibly want to. But there is going to be obviously a certain time limit with intercourse due to the guy and his stamina and how many times he feels he can go. So when it comes down to actual sex, just doing that, which I did before, just doing it. <laughs> um, when it comes down to that, I asked four options, or gave four options, I should say. So, first one, 10 to 20 minutes. Second one, 20 to 30 minutes. Third one, 30 to 45 minutes. Last one, 45 minutes plus. Now, again, this is just sexual intercourse. This is not actually having foreplay and kissing and massaging and whatever the hell that you're going to do in the bedroom, apart from using your penis to go inside a vagina. So we've got 15 answers for this one, and the top answer with 40% is 10 to 20 minutes, which is great. The next one down, which was 33%, was 20 to 30 minutes. I'll put the results somewhere here so that you can see them. But as you can see, 10 to 20 minutes is the average it kind of expected time for someone to have sex. The other part of it is swaying towards slightly higher than that, towards maximum 30 minutes, but 
Guys, if you are out there and you are worrying about how long you are taking over sex, if you are coming within 10, 12, 15 minutes, this is perfectly acceptable and fine and almost expected. This is what the average amount of people kind of think. I mean, obviously, if you are going longer and the girl is enjoying it and they're happy to go longer, that is fine too. But again, only 7% of people that I asked wanted it to be longer than 45 minutes. I mean, you're going to get exhausted. You're going to get absolutely knackered if you're going to be shagging for that long. Uh, Two, it can get quite boring, I guess, for the woman. And sometimes it can be frustrating for the girl if you're just continuously going and just humping away non-stop and not doing anything. But again, you can change positions, I suppose, and you can get some foreplay in the middle of it and this, that, and the other. But if there are guys out there that are coming quicker than 10 minutes, that maybe if you're premature ejaculating within the space of two, three minutes, maybe even less. There are known cases of people coming within the space of five, 10, or even 15 seconds. This is something that obviously you need to address with your doctor. No matter how many people you talk to, you need to go and see your doctor about it. There are things that they can do and prescribe for you. I I don't know if Viagra helps with the time that you actually have sex. I know it obviously helps keeping you have an erection, but if you're prematurely ejaculating, Maybe Viagra would work because you're going to have sex, then you're still erect, and then you can have sex again. Um, I don't know. Don't worry. Again, don't worry. There are things that can be done. If you talk to your partner or your girlfriend or your fiancé or your boyfriend or whoever it is and tell them that you've got a problem, they will understand and support you. Now, of course, it sucks if you come in that quickly because you want to enjoy sex as much as you can. But again, think of foreplay. There's so much more you can do. I mean, I know for you, you get the orgasm within a few seconds, but you feel like the other person is disappointed. Again, foreplay, kisses, strokes and cuddles and massages and toys and lubes and oils and incense and games and wax. And there's, there, there's so much shit out there that you can do. Sometimes sex, the actual build-up and foreplay, for women at least, is better than the actual sex itself. It depends on the woman, of course. What I always say is communication is key. Make sure that you talk to the person that you're having sex with. And again, if you are having issues and problems that you think are medical in nature, go and talk to your doctor. Finally, I asked one more question, so we got three this time. And the last question is... Guys and girls, are you happy with how and when you lost your virginity? And I gave three options here. I gave yes, no, and kind of. I'll go straight into the percentages. 40% for yes, 40% for no, and 20% for kind of. So if we kind of split that straight down the middle, it is almost going to be 50-50. 50% yes, 50% no, because the kind of is in between. So there are... 20 people that voted, so 10 people out there are not happy with the way that they lost their virginity, but there are 10 people that did. Now, obviously, I can't talk for everyone that's out there. I can only talk for myself, but I am very happy with the way that I lost my virginity. I was 17 at the time, and it was a girlfriend that I'd been seeing in a long-distance relationship, and then we met up, and then everything went as planned, and that was that. We were together quite a long time afterwards, so it clearly worked. But obviously there are people that are going to be out there having either one night stands or doing it due to peer pressure or doing it with a guy just for the sake of doing it or if they were drunk or on drugs and this and that. There's so many reasons and things out there why people would not be happy with the way that they lost virginity and that is understandable. But what I say to you, the people out there that do not like the way they lost their virginity, it's not a massive thing. It's not a big thing. So what? You had sex for the first time. Why is there such a big stigma over virginity? You're going to be having sex for the rest of your life, hopefully, anyway, multiple times with multiple people. What does the very first time with the very first person even matter? I know that it's probably disappointing the first time that you've did it, but you've got the whole rest of your life to make up for the other times that you're going to have sex. And plus, you learn from your mistakes. If you didn't like it, if you didn't enjoy it, if it was the wrong person, it's fine because you learn from that and you move on. It's made you who you are today, right now. So 
forget that drunken one night stand that you had when you were 15 years old and move on to when you're 25 years old with a partner that you're having amazing sex with because that's all that matters. That's where you've gone from A to B and who you are now. I'm more than happy to talk about this kind of thing, guys. Again. Anyone out there, if you've got any questions at all, any topics you want me to bring up, anything you want me to address, I will pick random things here and there to choose from now and then. And I will do topics that can be controversial if you want. I really don't care. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been a little bit informative again. Maybe a little bit cringy like I've said before. And a little bit enjoyable maybe. But if you did enjoy, please make sure that you leave a like and subscribe. Type up a couple of comments. And I'll see you in the next video. High five. Whoosh.